would you uh, like to introduce yourself, tell us where you work? Okay. My name is Mark Fuel. I'm Assistant Head of School at RNIB Sunshine House, a school for children with visual impairment and other additional complex needs. Mm. Um, I'm a qualified teacher of uh, multisensory impairment, um, so I'm looking at the MSI course to deliver some training across acad an academy cluster that we have links with. Looking through the course, it's very well set out in terms of finding the materials. It's quite similar to something that I've used previously in my own training so I have an idea of what it's like to be on the other end um, to do the training myself. The materials are very useful and it was great to find something that's out there already made so we can adapt it and add our own bits in for our pupils um, and our staff and um, to, to keep an eye, to keep uh, thinking about pupils that we don't necessarily come into contact with in our school so staff are aware of a pupil that might come into the school how to um, meet their needs. Mm. So what are your plans going forward as to how you're going to deliver this training to your staff? So we're looking at starting the course in January with um, a cohort of about 12 to 15 staff um, from several different schools in the academy cluster um, including a few staff here who are thinking about becoming interveners or um, looking to do a bit more training and using this as a bit of an introduction um, towards that training, using it as an, uh, um, so they're more aware of what the needs might be for people with visual impairment or hearing impairment as well, and also making real classroom changes and improving practice as, as much as possible throughout. The forum part of the course is actually something that really attracts me to it because when we're delivering training throughout our academy cluster, part of doing that is so staff get to meet other staff and get to build that relationship and share those ideas and I think the more someone knows a person in another school the more likely they are to reach out and to share ideas um, so I think that's one way of putting people in touch and just starting that dialogue up and getting people more happy to share their ideas and actually the more you share the more it helps you understand I believe. And then the other activity that uh, your participants are going to do is to set some practical classroom-based uh, SMART goals. So how do you anticipate that will be useful? Um, I think th how the staff might approach that might be very different depending on their role. We've got uh, it, certainly teachers and, and um, teaching assistants who have been at the school for some time are used to that because of our curriculum is quite built around designing targets that are specific to that pupil and, and meeting their areas of priority. Making them smart is something that we're always going on, on about um, and I think what I want to get the staff who take part in the course to really think about is how they're going to improve their practice and take it forward. So thinking about very practical changes or support that they can give one child but also bearing in mind in future, if there's anyone else they come into contact with, how they can support them. Mm -hmm. So, how do you see the sort of uh, the tutor role? Um, what What do you think you're going to bring to enhance the e-learning experience? Well, I think going through the materials, there's a, um, lots of useful information on there. I think what I would like to do is bring it to life a little bit and and to make it very practical and hands-on. I think. It might just be the way that I learn, but um, I think the more I carry out and do something, the more I sit back and go, oh, okay, that's how it works. And um, learn, I think the idea of the course is about reflective practice, and I think you really need to get in and do something and try it for yourself to, to have an appreciation of, of what our pupils are um, experiencing. So I think in the in the face-to-face -face sessions, I'll look to do lots of practical on uh, work to bring it to life but again also is to, to put people in touch with it with each other and sharing those ideas um, it'd be interesting how staff take to online course mm -hmm. I think that how I found in the past it's always very useful to have that face-to-face -face time to talk to people and know that you're not the only one who's something's not quite made sense or you're you feel like you're falling behind 
I mean, the more you talk to everyone, the more you find that they're having the same issues, and the more you learn that way.